Okay, we're going to take another look at some more samples today. Waterfalls Road. Road. It's the 2011 Sauvignon Blanc. It's called the Technical Drop. Um, a whole lot of wording about why it's called the Technical Drop, but really what counts is what's inside, right? So, Awatero Valley, um, southeastern part of the top of the South Island. So, it's a little bit, a little bit out of the, the core, I guess, of um, Sauvignon Blanc producers. Um, Sauvignon Blanc is a thing that's never going to die. And, and I'm, whoever tells you, oh, I'm sick of Sauvignon Blanc, usually has a couple of secret squirrel ones locked away in the salad drawer. I guess the, the constant mission is to try to find styles that work, that are pleasing. And really what we've seen in the last couple of years is a fragmentation of how, how people make uh, Sauvignon Blanc all across New Zealand, as well as uh, just, you know, in, I guess in the heart of Sauvignon Blanc, which is Marlborough. Um, they really are producing a host of different flavors, a host of different styles. So it's actually more interesting than ever. Anyway, let's take a look. So 2011, there was a time when I used to get really scared about tasting something that was this old. Um, obviously, Stelvin's gone a long way to making, to prolonging the life of aromatic whites in a big way. But... Um, I'm looking at it with some degree of trepidation. Let's see how it's rolling. I've got to say things like Colpit out of Centro Otago have gotten even better with a little bit of time. And then, of course, the barrel fermented stuff, uh, to Coco, Section 94 from Dog Point, the Villa Maria top end gear, all of those we're looking at, um, at 10s and 11s now. Uh, and they are only just starting to show what they're all about. So you've really got to be a little bit careful, I guess, about the whole hysteria of drinking a Sauvignon Blanc within the first three minutes of it being bottled. bottled. I think as a rule of thumb, if, you drink, if you're looking at a Sauve that is sharply aromatic, steeply defined, um, and really the gist of its character is all about providing that acidic rush that makes so many of them famous, then yeah, you're looking for a younger one. But if you are dealing with a Sauvignon Blanc that has any kind of barrel action, any kind of lees fermentation, anything that's just a little bit more serious in terms of the way it's made, um, you've got a lot more life uh, lying in those wines. Um, I was in Marlborough earlier this year and went to a couple of wineries who uh, I was really lucky to, to have a look at their linear aromatic um, Sauvignon Blancs from way, way back, talking about five, six, seven years. And I've got to say, um, most of them were super interesting and well worth drinking. Uh, but I guess uh, commercially uh, almost impossible to do anything with. So there's there's a cat's urine thing going on here. That's not I'm not loving. Underneath that is some um, fairly serious citrus citric acid, a citric action. Yeah, oh, but that cat's pee thing, God. It's not overwhelming the nose, but it's something that I particularly don't like. You know, it's kind of like durian. No matter what you do with it, I'm, there's going to be that durian thing in it that just you know makes me crazy. And it's the same kind of same kind of response I get with this sort of nose. Let's see. Some interesting phenolics there um, that come through on the on the, on, on the palate as well. I quite like the texture. It's um, not your average. Uh, your average Sauvignon Blanc by any means in the texture. I think the wine's probably a little bit over the top now um, and um, is not um, showing at its best. Um, I think overall, I'm going to just say I just don't love it, uh, but that's just me. I'm sure there's plenty of the people who do. Um, I'd like to have seen it at a little earlier stage. I'm also getting a little bit of that, um, you know, those uh, reasoning sometimes you get that kerosene thing, and I'm getting a bit of a backlash from that as well. So... This is definitely not something I'm, I'm excited to see. Maybe a younger vintage, but certainly this isn't one that's managed to stand the test of time. So that's all from me. Cheers.